What's up? I'm Aaron Kleiber, and I'm here to watch movies for you. Hello. This week, I saw Evil Dead the Remake. Starts off a little bit different than the original. Some girl running through the woods. <laughs> she gets kidnapped by like two deliverance dudes. Her dad burns her alive and then shoots her in the face with a shotgun. Pretty much that's the beginning of the movie. Boom, Evil Dead remake. I feel like I sound like a stupid YouTube person. Well, this one starts like any other horror movies do. We got the quintessential kids. We got the hot chick, dude that ran away from home when he was 16, lived on his own and learned the hard way, hot shot rock star kid, stoner dude, hot Peruvian girl, the minority, the shy bookworm girl is also a heroin addict. I smell something. I have super, super drug addict scent. She's like, it smells like dead macaroni in here or something. I don't know. It smells like old lasagna or homeless man's pants. There's a basement secret hatch. Welcome secret hatch. Press the numbers. No, oh, wait, it's lost. Dead animals hanging everywhere like somebody's uncle is making jerky. That Necronomicon, don't say it five times. It's wrapped up in hefty bags and barbed wire. There's witchcraft and animal sacrifice going on downstairs. Let's go upstairs and make a pot roast dinner. I'm running through the woods and seeing if I can go find some heroin. Please don't read this book. And it unleashes into the forest the steady cam monster. Oh, ah, you, ah. The girl from the ring is in the woods or something. And the forest personifies itself into a slimy vine and goes up in her business. And I was like, this is inappropriate. I'm huddling in the bed and she's like, I see dead people or something. Hey, why don't you go get a shower because you're muddy in our beds, burning the skin off her face. They're all gonna die tonight. They're all gonna laugh at you or whatever they say. Pukes green puke in her mouth pushes her down in the basement in the meantime she went and killed the dog with a hammer in the shed that's like a weird game of clue like i got a horse tranquilizer in my purse the girl from the ring in the mirror john lennon's like hello knock 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 the joker smile almost cutting her face open and she's like let me cut your face open oh my god you're cutting your face open girl stabbing his face with this needle rip the sink off the wall and bash her brains in with a sink it's cool you just murdered our friend with a sink he hit her with everything and the kitchen sink what happens next? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. No, 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 I remember. What happened? I'm normal now. Please open the hatch and help me. Hey, remember? Oh, we're sisters. Remember camp when we were in middle school? Psych! Grab her and of course the steps break. Oh, watch the steps. She kind of gets on top of her and I thought it was going to get a little sexy because she was like, oh, what's up with this hot boss? She pukes blood in her mouth. You know, like normal possessed chicks do. She bites her hand. She bites it good. She's got like poison oak or something the basement opens up the hatch and she's doobie doo doo i don't know what she's saying she's like singing a song like hey what's up you want some tips on pinterest she cuts her arm off pot roast style ham dinner style easter breakfast style and then john lennon and the hot shot brother come back out of the bathroom like yeah we just killed the peruvian chick i just cut my arm off what's up dudes you guys want crackers she becomes possessed and grabs the nail gun and she shoots up john lennon good by the way where did they get the nail gun there's just a nail gun, a pneumatic nail gun. There's not even a pressure. There's not even like a tank where you hook up and it's a pressure nail gun. This doesn't make any sense. Arms full of nails. Hotshot brother grabs a shotgun. Good night, blonde girl with no arm. Gouges out of his head from crowbars. Let's read more of the Leatherface book. Cut her body up. We have to burn her alive or we have to bury her alive. Drops the horse tranquilizer, and then the black guy comes into the inn, and Jack Nicholson hits him with his ax. Now look, he's supposed to bury her alive, but he puts a, a Ziploc hefty bag over her face, like for, probably left over from the pot roast. I'm just your shy, junky sister, don't bury me. And she's like, like nah. This is where science comes in. I rigged up a little thing from the shed. Some big hypodermic needles, and he hooks him up to the car battery, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna revive her, AKA Pulp Fiction style. Digs her back up, boom. I'm normal, I'm normal. John Lennon is now a possessed zombie. You know what to do, sister. John Lennon kills Hotshot Brother. House is burning to the ground. So this beast comes out of the ground. It's like a Barbie doll or a Ken doll. It's got no parts. I don't know what it is. It's a no part demon. No wiener, no boobs beast. Pushes the Jeep on top of her arm, rips her arm off. Whoosh, quick cut, chainsaw, whoosh, gas, whoosh, Sam Raimi. You know what I'm talking about. Now she's got a chainsaw, no arm. Mm. Suck on this, you crazy asexual beast. Eat some of the my steel. Forget what line she said. Suck on this blade, witch whore. <laughs> How about some of this chainsaw to the mouth? <laughs> How about some pull on pro <laughs> in your face? Oh, Husqvarna in your mouth. <laughs> oh, you ever eat craftsman steel? And she hits that asexual no wiener boob beast. Straight up cuts that mother in half. And there is more blood than Kill Bill 1, Kill Bill 2, Reservoir Dogs, Django Unchained, and Inglorious Bastards all in one movie. So she cuts the beast up and the beast gets swallowed up back in the ground kind of like when 
Jason goes to hell again. Except Freddy doesn't come up with his claw. She's like, all right, well, now that this is over, I can go back to Seattle and start a grunge band and get back on heroin. If I didn't say spoiler alert the first time, I apologize. Hey, thanks for letting me watch it for you. Check me out, www.aaronclaver.com. If you have a request, hit me up. Maybe I'll go see it. Maybe I'll review it. Give me some indie that's in some weird movie theater that's 20 miles from my house. I'll try it out. I don't care. But I like to stick to the normal ones because that's what people care about, not about your weird indie movies. Relax. Film snob.